All right, we'll get him back. Hold on to your dogs tight. Hutch here. Good. 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 A lot of praise. Give him a lot of praise. So everybody, there's a real good example. Did you see right at the very end, Hutch got out. And we thought, oh boy, that dog can move, right? And so he went and he took his little lap, but he came right to Natalie and Wyatt's standing next to Natalie. And as he came in, I don't even think the voices were raised on their part. I don't even think they, I think it was a hutch. But it wasn't like, they didn't lose anything. They stayed pretty calm. And I think he responded pretty calm. And he came in, like circled up, like, what should we do now? And it was reached down and grab a collar. Now, I was with Hutch and Wyatt in Kansas a couple year, years, a year ago? A year, a little over a year ago, and he was a lot younger. And we had a field comparable size, and Hutch, Hutch went on to retrieve. And about 15 minutes later, we got Hutch back, right? <laughs> no, but he made some big laps. He put on a lot of miles real quick. So to me, I look at that and I go, man, that's a huge change from Kansas, a positive change. So when, if a dog happens to get loose like that, we're not gonna panic, we're not gonna freak out. Um, we're gonna read the situation and panicking might have boiled Hutch over the top to get him going even harder, but he came in real nice. So.